I'm here with Ben and Jack, who are Sycamore Junior High students that have a lot to share. They're just like us, but they both have Down syndrome. And I just want to ask them like a few questions. So, Ben, this one's for you. Is it true that you are a major WWE fan? Yes. Who is your favorite wrestler? American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. That is awesome, dude. Okay, Ben. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes. Is there any sibling that you want to talk about? I want to talk about my brother. What What do you like about your brother? He uh, he likes uh, he likes on lacrosse. He likes lacrosse. And he's in Harlem, Michigan right now. That's awesome. Michigan's awesome. Yeah. Is there any uh, sports you like? I like I like football. What's your What's your favorite football team? Minnesota Vikings and Cincinnati Bengals. That's awesome. Okay, that's amazing, Ben. So, uh, let's ask Jack some questions. So, Jack, are you excited for Halloween? Yeah. What are you going to dress up about, like, for Halloween? Skeleton. Jack Skellington? Yes. That's awesome, dude. So, another question. Jack, what's something you like about school? Play down the road to school. Sleep. School. You like sleeping? Uh, don't, didn't you say you liked uh, Miss Beatty's room? Yes. What do you What do you like about Miss Beatty's room? Um, not me. I have a bedroom. She has a bedroom in there. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Well, um, thanks for being here with uh, me and like letting me interview you guys. That's amazing. Now we're to Mrs. Blake, who is here with us from the Down Syndrome Association of Greater Cincinnati. Can I get a go waves and like when I say go? Go waves. Go waves. Go waves. So. What is Down Syndrome? The first thing I want you to know is that Down Syndrome is not a disease or an illness. It's not something you can catch like COVID or the flu. It's just something you're born with it. As I'm sure you've learned in science, everyone is made up of millions of tiny cells. Each cell has 23 pairs of chromosomes. People with Down Syndrome have an extra chromosome on the 21st pair. Chromosomes make you who you are. They determine your eye color, skin tone, hair color, height, and more. Just like we know that if we have two people who both have brown hair, they're different in many ways. Likewise, two people that both have Down syndrome are different in many ways. All people with Down syndrome are different from each other. However, because of that extra chromosome, there are some common characteristics that people with Down syndrome share. Many people with Down syndrome have slanted or almond-shaped eyes. They have smaller facial features and fingers and hands with a single crease across the palm of the hand. Many people with Down syndrome have flexible, loose joints or low muscle tone. Low muscle tone means that they have to work harder to have their muscles do the same things that yours do easily. So you might notice a classmate at the end of the day looking tired or slumped over in their chair. That's because they've been working really hard throughout the school day. People with Down syndrome may need extra practice or time when learning new things. This doesn't mean that they can't learn. It just means that they might need more repetitions or need to learn at a slower pace than you learn. It may take a little longer for people with Down syndrome to understand what is being said. So if you ask a friend a question or ask them to do something, give them a little time to process what they've heard before expecting them to respond or to answer. Also, it might be hard to understand what a person with Down syndrome is saying. Like we talked about, Due to that low muscle tone, it can be challenging. Your face and mouth has many muscles. If you don't understand what a friend has said, it is completely okay to ask them again. If you still don't understand, you might want to ask them to show you what they mean or ask a teacher or a friend who's more familiar with their speech for help. This last one is my favorite. Many people with Down syndrome can easily tell how other people are feeling without being told. So you might notice if you come in one morning when it's been a rough morning and you're feeling down, they might be the first person to come over and give you a pat on the back or ask how you're doing or simply sit next to you. 
or maybe you're in a great mood because you've done well on a test or uh, did a great job in your game and they're one of the first people to join you in celebrating. This is one of my favorite quotes. A true friend accepts who you are, but also helps you become who you are meant to be. I think this is what we all want in friendships. We want to be accepted, yet encouraged to grow. As I go through the next slide, I want you to keep this in mind. I'm going to go over some things you can do with classmates who have Down syndrome. Most of these things you will probably think are things you would do with any of your friends. You're right. Find common interest. Ask about your friend's likes or dislikes. Have conversations. If you find out there's something you're both into, invite your friend to activities or clubs. I'd also like to challenge you to step out of your comfort zone and join others rather than them always joining you. Be yourself. Be genuine. I'm not asking you to change who you are, but we can all connect in a way that feels right to each of us. Be patient. Allow for time to process and communication. Allow time for individuals to feel comfortable in new settings or with new people. Recognize boundaries. Pay attention to and respect all forms of communication, speech, body language, or facial expressions. Share your boundaries. It's okay to say you don't want to be touched or hugged. Encourage appropriate behavior. The best way you can do this is to model what needs to be done. Don't encourage poor choices. Don't laugh at, stare at, or imitate challenging moments. Teach correct ways. Forgive mistakes. Don't dwell on things that go wrong. Don't gossip, just move on. I think if you do these things, you will be the friend we all hope to have. Thank you for your time, have a wonderful day.